What's up YouTube, Redbeard's Garage, and welcome back to another video. Today we're getting back on the four-seater and gonna get them rear shocks mounted, and it's sitting under its own weight. Well, in the middle of welding the slats in on the back, I ran out of welding wire. I used .030 wire and solid core, of course, because, or solid wire, because I run with uh, argon gas and I don't use flux. Flux, you get a lot more splatter, you don't get a strong or as clean weld. Uh, kids are riding the go-kart, by the way. But the thing's turning out awesome. There is one more layer I'm gonna build on it. So I know it might not look that great with how I did the V's up on the back, uh, but it's coming along. It looks a lot better with that rear section. So we're gonna run down to a Lowe's. Uh, I was gonna, I actually ordered some on Amazon and then I canceled it out because Lowe's keeps it in stock. I think a 12 and a half pound row. So we're gonna drive down to Lowe's, buy some more wire and finish this thing because we were going to also weld on the Nerf bars on the sides for the kids to step up in the back seat and also weld the old poop handle on for the uh passenger side so yeah i think it's looking pretty awesome though uh for sure and then like i said there'll be another level uh of the sidebars coming around like that uh make it look a lot different i'm sure But yeah, she's coming along. Uh, like I said, the Nerf bars will be welded in down here. We have the pipes for that. We just need to cut them down. And then of course, uh, we need to finish cutting the uh, the bars that'll go right there. Then I need to bolt the, the seat down on the rear and have my son sit in to find out where his head's gonna be. Cause we got to put a post in so I can build a headrest so they won't hit their head on the metal back there. But I am liking it quite a bit. She looks awesome. Uh, I like the holes and everything, but yeah, so let's run down the lows and get some wire.
So this back end is about 85% done. I wanted to do this second step up so it's more like a luggage area in here. And I did also think about bringing, you know, a pop up in this way or maybe coming off from this area and going down to this corner. I don't know. You know, this whole build's been going off the top of my head, so I've just been figuring it out as I go. But I think these gussets look really sweet that I made out of some uh, sheet metal I had. So now I got to weld around these pipes as well as where they connect right here and right here. I don't have to have nothing right in here. I may do some flat stock uh, just for the heck of it, but this is just going to be pretty much a useless luggage area, and then the gas tank will be housed under here, so you'll take the cap off in here to, uh, to fill the gas tank up. So I'm going to go ahead and weld this side up, and then I got to uh, make the other side to match and get all this stuff welded on, and then we need to make the shock mounts for down here. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get back to it. So when I'm making these back bars, I'm no metal magician here, so you know I'm learning as I go. So I've taken some four inch pieces of one inch tubing and I've tacked them on and then I've leveled this out, got my angles cut the way I need it, tacked it on. This is probably not the way uh, some professional uh, metal fabricator would do it, but this is how I do it and it works. Then I notched this piece to fit the V because all this is a piece of flat stock with two pieces of square tubing kind of turned sideways uh, but I've grinded the weld so it looks like one solid piece but you can see it's kind of triangle shaped so this will hug right up again and it's notched on this side to fit a bead of weld that's under there and when it sets up in there you can see how clean the lines are I still got to clean my edges then what I'm going to do is measure it make sure it's six inches on both sides from the very bottom to the very top and then I'll tack it up and then weld all this out then I can make my other piece. This is pretty simple. It's just one angle cut and then one straight cut, and it's just getting that angle right, um, you know, to kick it, kick the metal the way it needs to go. So we're gonna get this side uh, finished up. It's hot.
Okay, so you see I uh, made these shock mounts and the shocks are going to be attached just like this. Well, this is the Go Power Sports gussets. Uh, you can buy these on their website. They're really handy. You can use them in all types of applications. Uh, so what I did was bolted one on each side of the shock and it actually would work great for shock mounts. But the only problem is how they have this bow in the center right here, if you can see that. Uh, I would only have two good welds on each side, really just tacked. So that's not good enough, of course. Uh, I'm afraid that would bend out. So what I've done is I had a sheet of 1 8 inch thick of steel outside, so I made my own tabs. Uh, what I've done is traced out this gusset onto this tab and put another half inch. This is 1 inch square tubing, so that means now this can ride uh, halfway up this square tube and I can put a long bead as well as some side beads you know and maybe cap off to two little ends um, just to over strengthen it so uh, we're going to get these new ones bolted on to the shock and get them welded in place So everything is welded and uh, we're going to take the jack stands off and hope for the best. And it's resting under its own weight. That's perfect. I think it's perfect. Oh yeah. That's, I think that's plenty soft enough. It's pretty sweet. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's actually softer than I thought it would be. I figured it would be real stiff. I did too. Yeah, but it's not. Stand on this. On, no, on the side. I ain't weld those boys. Right there. Which is plenty. Yeah, well, we're that's we're that's very big boys. And those are old shocks. I have new yeah. shocks, which, and we can lift them, which would give a little bit more you got another inch of. Yeah, and those stiffen it as well. Yeah. The tighter, the taller you go, but looks pretty awesome pretty excited so what do you think about it i like it i think the kids will love it yeah it's going to be freaking awesome i am going to cap off that pop right there on each side here yeah i think that'd look a little bit better there's still a bunch of final welds to do but uh that'll be when it before it goes to paint because it's strong enough for sure right now nothing's definitely going to break um we're going to make gas tank mounts and uh steering. steering and then gas pedal and brake pedal which that's really easy to mount so we'll get to that next so guys uh the four seater is really coming along it's almost done hopefully next episode it'll be drivable yeah that's the goal this episode was the goal but i'm cutting down my episodes uh to get them out faster number one and i don't think a lot of people want to sit there and watch a 25 minute long video i'm really trying to go over my formula of how I edit and how I film everything to make it more entertaining so I can gain more followers pretty much. Yeah. A lot of people are not going to subscribe to me just because of the length of my videos. And uh, so that being said, I'm going to cut out the welding scene. So you're just going to see me tacking the metal because you get the idea of what I'm building and how I'm doing it like that, I think. Yeah. Um, so it's a lot better way to do it. 25 minutes is kind of just a long time to sit there and watch. But. And especially if you're on a phone. I mean. Yeah. 
see i watch youtube anything i watch online is usually on my pc because i haven't you know big setup so of course and i'm sitting there working it already so i'm going to watch it on that instead of my phone so uh it's not as bad for me to I'm do i'm on it. the phone yeah that's when i watch everything probably so. on the throne as well aren't you most of the time yeah yeah we would show you uh, an overall view of the four-seater, but we did more to it that you'll see in the next episode. Uh, but the biggest thing, guys, is please go tell Go Power Sports things and use that discount code REDBEARD to save 10% on all your go-kart mini bike needs. I mean, for sure, none of this would even be possible without their support. None of it. We uh, never got off the ground. No, yeah, completely. They've completely uh, supported us and the biggest reason why i push them so much is because you have to support them too because they're helping creators like me be able to do these awesome builds and awesome videos to teach you guys and to entertain you guys so definitely go uh, support them by buying and they're them. great guys so. yeah so make sure to go use that discount code and go follow us and like us on facebook and instagram we're also on snapchat all that information will be in the description below you snapping now? i'm snapping <laughs> well my wife's snapping i ain't messing with it all the links to all the Parts from Go Power Sports will be in the description below as well. Forgot to mention that. But uh, yeah, guys, this thing's coming along. Hopefully. It's almost done. Next video, we can see it ride. We got like steering and uh, gas pedal and brake. Gas pedal. and brake and uh, what's it called? The wiring. Transmission. Yeah, just wiring and putting the shifter where it goes, things like that. But yeah, guys, uh, thank you so much for supporting us. I'm a full time YouTuber now, so uh, make sure you support the crap out of me. Uh, or I won't be able to do this much longer. We'll be living in this go-kart. Uh, <laughs> put some curtains on the front. It'd be pretty nice. It's like a single wide. <laughs> About the same size. Make sure to always come back to Redbeard's Garage and we're, we're out. out.